Now, if you're feeling skeptical about the alcoholic in your family and what to do and how you can help that person and you don't really know what direction to take, today I want to go over some really simple but powerful things that you can do that you can do to participate in that person's life and to add strength and support for the alcoholic. But this is also true for any mental illness or anybody suffering from different illnesses. So let's continue this. Now, if you have a son or daughter or a spouse, somebody who's very close to you and they're showing signs of alcohol use disorder, there's a very simple thing, but powerful thing that you need to do. You need to get a physical. That person needs to get a physical so you can have a starting point and an understanding of what's going on with them, at least physically. Now, there may, you may get a lot of resistance to do this. I don't need a physical, what are you talking about? I would recommend going with that person and make it, make it kind of a fun thing. Let's go, let's both get a physical. I want to find out what's going on with me. And that person may be more willing to do that. It's a suggestion. A starting point is so important. It's so important to get blood work and to understand what's going on with that person physically. Now you have to realize so many things can be discovered, you know, during a physical, specifically the blood test. Uh, you know, blood tests can tell you everything, almost. Now, GGT levels, which really are specific to your liver, normal liver ranges from zero to 30. Anything over 30, a person could be suffering from hepatitis, they could have fatty liver, they could have duct blockage, there could be more serious issues with that liver, but all that comes out in a blood test. And again, discovering the blood work and getting the groundwork uh, of the alcoholic in your family is so important because it's in black and white. You can sit there and show the, show the person, look, this is the problem, this is the issue. What are we gonna do about it from here? And you can do it together. And I think it's important to go with that person, especially if they're very close, like I said, a son, a daughter, a spouse, because you know they're gonna have a lot of apprehension. Uh, and you know, my wife used to hide it. She up for years, she hid it. I had to ask her what her blood work was and she said, oh, it's fine, it's great. In fact, my liver was doing very good. And the truth is, was, was really the exact opposite. And the biggest mistake I ever made was not going with her uh, because she really didn't want me to go with her because she really knew the truth. So make sure you go with your loved one when you have the physical. And the last thing I want to talk to on the subject, if, if you get a lot of pushback and the person is just adamant that they will not get a physical, they will not get blood work, well, that opens another door for another conversation. Why won't you? Maybe we need to look into this. And it's another reason to delve into it as a family member. You know, again, if this resonates with you, similar conversations, link is in the bio. Uh, you know, I've helped thousands of people, uh, alcoholics, and I've helped their families as well. You know, schedule a breakthrough call so that we can figure out sustainable sobriety for you and your family. And again, thanks for listening.